you know, that's, that's one of the things, like, I don't have many regrets in life, but one of the things I always felt with Ringside Records was I stopped too soon. But mm -hmm. my reasoning was, you know, I was getting into making movies and this and that, and I really was just like, look, it, you got to do one or the other, because I, I was basically just, what I essentially did was just turn Ringside into making movies. And I just, like, if I can give you any piece of advice is definitely stick with it and and like you have no idea where this thing is going to take you and what it's going to do and i'm sure you've even seen that already and and mm -hmm. you know like like it was i remember telling you like when i heard token trash i was like dude you should tell jordan about this you're like no 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 <laughs> but i just um yeah I, I if i can give you any advice i would i would stick stick with it yeah well thank you for that i, I think i'm I think I will. I think I'm going to try because especially here in Denver, there's a lot more of a scene here than in Vegas. Which, Did uh, you know that when you moved to, uh, from, from Vegas for, for school? I didn't really know about the local scene, but I think one of the main reasons I did pick Denver is because I know how many bands like pass through here on their tours because there's not really a lot of like bands that pass through in Vegas. Like if they do, it's like a Wednesday show or like a, Tuesday matinee or something, but like here, like off, they just started their new, I think it's their free LSD tour. And they, they, Denver's the only city that they played uh, two shows. So I oh, think wow. that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Wow. No, I didn't know that. I didn't, I mean, I, I'd been to Denver. I saw, I think it was, I think I was on like the Warp tour. Like I was promoting a movie. I wasn't like with bands. But it was like sick of it all was on that tour, social distortion, and then the descendants. And I was I was like, oh, this is amazing. And um I remember I think it was in Denver, there were some guys, I found some guys with X's on their hands, and they were and they like and I like walked up and I said, Hey, can I can I get X'd up? And they're like, Oh yeah, yeah, and I just remember being like, that's so cool. Like I can just be like in another state, find people that are interested in the same thing. And it's like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. We'll, uh, right. we'll uh, put them on you. You know, that's, that's another thing I was, I was, I was going to ask you about how did you come to uh, straight edge? Because I'm, well, at least I'm assuming that you're still straight edge, you know, you, you know, Hey, you're yeah, uh, I am. okay. I am. But um, I think it was also just kind of through my dad. It was always kind of like, obviously every parent is like, you know, I don't want you drinking or anything. So, um, and then it was that, well, I think a big part of it is just kind of seeing like the people around me just kind of like get involved in kind of like the bad stuff. And that it was kind of just something I really wasn't interested in. So I think that was also a big motivator of just kind of seeing others kind of fall into that and just knowing I don't want to be a part of that. So. You know that's, I think that's well. That's that's interesting know, too, because yeah. you're a because you're a young guy. You're around your peer group, and like mm -hmm. a lot of people don't do that, as you know, like they would have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you were like, I'm, now, do you think that, like, for instance, knowing about Straight Edge made that decision easier? I think it definitely did, and also just kind of seeing like like bands like especially straight edge band like, i think dare was one of like my big ones that i saw and i was like these guys are cool and they're like kind of into what i'm into and so that was i guess another thing that made it easier gotcha um yeah that is no that is that's so interesting and also it's it's i mean it's interesting because you came to that on your own like i'm you know sure i i know your parents like wouldn't be into you doing that but I'm saying young people are young people. If you're going to do something, you're going to figure out a way to do it. Um, mm -hmm. And and but it's just interesting, you know. You got you got into it without really needing to have your arm twisted. And your dad happened to play in one of the more known militant straight edge bands. Even though I mean, you know, they were. If if you listen to that record, that Truth Gives Wings to Strength record. Mm -hmm. And if you know your dad, you know Regis, and you know um, you know you know Isaac. There's a lot of tongue-in-cheek stuff that's on that yeah. record. That's like okay, 
these guys weren't, you know, it wasn't like they were <laughs> walking around thinking and talking about straight edge 24 hours a day. Right. Yeah, and I think that's another important aspect of it is that you don't want to, I guess, force it onto people. Like, it's obviously good to be like, hey, this is, like, a thing you can do. But I feel like once you, like, I just feel like I don't want to associate with you if you're not straight edge. I don't, I don't believe in that. I think people have these, like, are, people can do what they want to do. And I'm not going to, like, hate you more if you don't, if you're not straight edge or anything like that. Like, in fact, if you're, like, I guess deep into that, like, kind of the bad stuff, also, I'm like, I want to help you in a way, so. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. That do, and also, like, you're in a, you're in a very interesting phase in your life, just because I'm saying you're in college now. And mm-hmm. I'm just saying it's a different, it's a, it's a, a different world. So, in some ways, do you sort of feel kind of lucky to sort of have at least at the very least even if you were not to be straight let's say you wake up tomorrow morning and go I'm not going to be straight edge but do you at least feel like okay you know what like I know about this thing and I have enough of a knowledge of it that I feel it's grounded me yeah definitely um yeah and it's yeah I don't sorry I'm not really too sure how to elaborate on that but yeah I definitely feel that way gotcha Gotcha. Well, dude, I hope you do more music and I hope that I, you know, I, I need to interview you again for, uh, you know, the, uh, Milltown 2.0 and see where that goes. 